everyone. How are you all doing? Happy Sunday to you. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. If this is the first time you're joining, a warm welcome to you. If you are in America and you just celebrate um, Thanksgiving, how are you doing today? Are you still full? Are you still using up your leftovers? Well, for a long time, this is the first year that I really feel like I had so much to eat. Like, I didn't like cook like a whole set of stuff. I prepared about maybe about six to seven different dishes and just in small portion. It was very, very palatable and it was really, really good. So I had leftovers, you know, like two nights straight and I feel like I wish I had more so I could have some more to eat today. So how was your Thanksgiving? And if you're somewhere else other than in America, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat and sorry you weren't, you know, closer for us to share our Thanksgiving with you. So what we're going to be talking about today is natural remedies that can help to get rid of scars, spots and blemishes on the skin, and also warts and moles. This is basically one of the most requested video, one of the most requested questions, and it's all about clearing the skin of hyperpigmentation. And right behind that is moles and warts. So if you're joining, we have a couple of probably way more than seven that we're going to share with you. We're also going to tell you why and how it actually helps to get rid of the spots, the scars, moles, and any form of hyperpigmentation on the skin. Warm welcome to our moderator, Lucy. Doing a fantastic job, Lucy. We actually were talking about you, you know, sometimes this week. But anyway, we will be getting in touch with you. We have some really, really good things coming your way, Lucy. You are really, 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 really helpful. And if you guys are not aware, the moderator is always in blue with a little spanner at the side. She works to keep out bad comments and also to, you know, give you the tips or suggested videos and stuff like that while the show is going on. We have our members. We have Jason always, always, always here. Madeline, how are you? We also have, who else is here from our uh, members? We also have Loretta and let's see if anyone else is here earlier on. And those are some of our, when I say Diagent member, I mean Diagent member of the channel. And then we have all of you guys, our amazing subscribers who have always been here. Some of you are new and if it's your first time, welcome. But some of you are oldies but goodies. Inga K, how you doing? That really support our channel. Well, guys, you know we're going to talk about, you know, the remedies, but we're getting on to the end of the year. And if you're new, you might not be aware that we do gift giving. Some people didn't get their gift since last year, which we will try to make up for that. But it's not like the norm. Most people, 99% of, you know, um, people get their gifts. So we hope that this year will be a little better and we will be more organized. And, you know, it's really sad that we cannot do... Um, international is a struggle i do get across some gifts to some international countries but not to all so be mindful guys when we come out with our gift giving if you are you know depending on where you are international it might be a little hectic to get your gift okay but we're talking it's not the time yet i also want to do vlogmas guys that is going to be on my vlog channel. However, for this channel, I have a brilliant idea, but I'm going to run it by Lucy first. And I will have to do that between today and tomorrow to figure out if we could have Vlogmas in form of a live daily show. All right. So that is another thing that we're open to do. But on my vlog channel, if you have not yet subscribed to my vlog channel, the link is below. We're going to be doing a Vlogmas on it, which... You know, we will put the link in community so you guys could go over and watch, you know, our Vlogmas on the Black channel. All right, so natural remedies for dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and spots and blemishes. The first one, I should have bring the props out today, but anyway, the first natural remedy that is good for 
spots and blemishes and this is also good for moles and wart is onion and we're going to be talking about the red onion not very pleasant when it comes on to fragrant however guys many of you might not be aware that red onion is one of the main ingredient or one of the ingredient that you will find in any form of a skincare products that is listed to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. Now, if you don't believe that little information, go and research it yourself, and you might be blown away to know that, yes, red onion is used in skincare products for getting rid of pigmentation on the skin. Now, for me, I use the red onion straight up. I just take a fresh onion, chop it up, blend it up, extract the juice and use it for hyperpigmentation and i have a few remedies on my channel which that's probably like really old videos using onions for spots and blemishes now what you might not be aware of guys is that when it comes on to fresh vegetables and fresh food using on the skin it might not work as fast as you know when you get the chemical um, um, you know, derive uh, skincare products that you can use for hyperpigmentation. So when you're using your natural remedy, be a little mindful that it might take a little longer time for you to see fast result. However, if you are persistent, they will help you to get rid of or to fade dark spots and blemishes on the skin. All these ingredients that I'm going to talk about today are ingredients that have been tested, proven, and have been used for centuries on the skin for hyperpigmentation. Now guys, when I make the red onion, because of the pungent fragrance of the onion that most people are not comfortable with, what I normally do, I add some lavender oil, lavender essential oil to that blended onion juice. So add a little lavender essential oil or any of your favorite essential oil and get rid of the, the, the strong smell. Now the best way guys to use the onion juice on the skin is to use it daily or nightly. And I suggest that when you juice it, you take a little cotton swab or a little piece of a cotton cloth and you just apply it directly only to the area where you're fading the spots and blemishes or if you have molds and wart you're just going to apply directly on that area and you're going to do this as you know daily and you know slowly but surely you will notice a difference in the hyperpigmentation all right guys so if you have tried onion on your skin before with any form of a result feel free to comment now, when it comes on to what really causes the onion to work for pigmentation, it contains an ingredient called alumum, and alumum is what they tend to extract from that onion to use in skincare products for fading hyperpigmentation. Now, when it comes on to the process of extracting that alumum, we at home don't have those kind of a machine or technique, but when you use the straight up onion juice, you're still gonna reap that benefit from you know, the onion itself. All right, so if you use onion before, comment, comment, comment. Or if you have tried any of my natural remedies using onion for dark spots and blemishes, feel free to comment and share your findings with us. Jason, tonight I bought lavender essential oil, um, tea tree oil. I love spending my money on natural skincare. And you bought two really, really good oil, lavender essential oil and tea tree. Tea tree oil, guys, if you can get your hands on tea tree oil, is one essential oil that you should always have in your collection at home since it do so many things the antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties will also help your skin you get a little small cut or bruise or so on and you don't have you know anti-bacterial um, ointment you can just you know soak it up a little bit with that tea tree essential oil to begin with so definitely a must in your you know skincare 
collection. Yanni, how are you? And hello, Pauline, how are you? I missed your call this week. I am doing well. Wasn't 100% this week, to be honest. I was like a little down, and you probably know why, but um, I'm here. Okay, so um, uh, Magdalene, I use onion juice for my ear mixed with black castor oil. I have no idea why they're telling me that your your, your comment is um, not appropriate. <laughs> it's kind of crazy sometimes. But that is actually a very, very good mix. And that's another um, um, point also. The onion juice is actually very, very good for your hair, especially for people with dandruff. The onion juice will help. There's this sulfur that is in that onion juice that will help and for dry scalp and if you mix it with other ingredients it will also help to regrow bald spot all right so Tom boy I pray to God that one day oh um, I, I, I am actually gonna comment a little bit on what you're saying I'm not gonna read it on the channel of course we all do love the way we look and it's not only black women per se across the world that take care of their skin women on a whole take care of their skin and if you're going to come on the channel and the presenter which is myself do look black and is talking about skin care and beauty and you're going to be very rude to 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 assume that we do not love ourselves that is really 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 uncalled for and unnecessary okay it doesn't matter what your skin color is whether it is black blue white pink orange it doesn't matter you need to take care of your skin okay and skincare is not only for one set of um skin color it is for everyone white black blue purple orange do use natural skin care and find especially my channel to be very informative okay so do not uh, speculate that black women are not proud of their their beautiful color okay we all are but that doesn't mean that we should sit and not take care of our skin okay just as how other race is taking care of their skin we need to take care of it for it to be bright beautiful and radiant so if you cannot make a decent comment on my channel then just don't watch, okay? And maybe you need to watch so that you will know how to take care of your skin because your skin probably needs to be exfoliated right now, okay? Get yourself some brown sugar and a little bit of uh, olive oil. Mix the two together. Look in the mirror and exfoliate your skin regardless of your skin color. You're going to be losing dead skin cell, okay? So continue watching the show because you definitely will learn something today. But keep your comment really appropriate okay all right so we are moving on sorry guys went on a tantrum don't normally do but this one was you know worth talking about all right so we are moving on so we our next ingredient that we're going to talk about is turmeric and the most comment i get about turmeric is that it's either you love it or you ate it however it is really effective when it comes on to lightening the skin, take, getting rid of scars, also when it comes on to moles and warts, also when it comes on to old scars, stretch marks, the turmeric really works. And that is why you find that in a lot of natural products that you're gonna find out there on the market, they are using up the turmeric powder. It works and it works fast. I would basically say it is one natural ingredient that you're gonna get the fastest result of getting rid of or fading your scars and your hyperpigmentation. Whether you're gonna use it make with other things or you're gonna mix a paste out of it and use on the skin. If you have old scars on your face, if you have warts, if you have moles, if you have blackhead marks or acne marks on your skin, turmeric will work. Why most people do not really like to use this turmeric is because it's a little messy, okay? It's a little messy, and if you're not careful, it will like stain your nails and so on. Another myth, you know, I, I received several emails with this. Oh, because of, you know, the way my skin look or my skin color, 
will the turmeric stain my skin? No, you can apply the turmeric powder to any skin tone. The important thing is to wash it off properly. I normally suggest you wash the turmeric powder off with a little bit of a warm water along with maybe your cleanser that you use or a good oil cleanser and you're gonna basically get rid of it. But it worked. The very first time I used turmeric on my skin, I was blown away, no joke. I was so blown away because I saw instant brightness to my skin, like instant, just wearing it for 30 minutes. And I do have it recorded. I have a video, a very, very old video, showing me using the turmeric on my skin. And at that time, which was about like about four years or so ago, when you come on YouTube, you don't normally find a lot of people making turmeric um, facial. However, now it's like everywhere on YouTube, you could find people using the turmeric on their skin. But not only that, when you go out in the market to get your skincare product, especially if you like to use natural skincare on your face or your old body, you're gonna notice a lot of products is out here now with turmeric and it is for a reason the fastest way to get result from the turmeric is to just mix a little turmeric with a little milk if you're vegan go ahead and try the soy milk so like a teaspoon of turmeric powder to a teaspoon of milk and just blend it into a paste and just use it on the area where you have the spots and blemishes where you also have your molds and wart just use it and preferably at night the paste is going to dry wherever you use it and that is good if you want to use it overnight and you rub it there when it is dry just take your hand and just brush it like that it's still going to be there but it will mess your pillow or your sheet up if you do it like that if not guys use it in the daytime if you have the time but you can definitely use it at night but be mindful use a whole pillowcase if you you know think that it's gonna make a mess that's the only downside of it because it really will work very very fast if you could sleep with it overnight without making a mess okay but as i said to you pack it on let it dry and then you just brush it off do not rinse it off and that's the way you could sleep with the turmeric powder on the turmeric paste on your spots and blemishes turmeric is also good for dark neck if you have dark neck and dark armpit, you can make a turmeric paste. You can even choose to add a, a two tablespoon of brown sugar with a teaspoon of turmeric um, powder, and you could just blend that up with a little olive oil. Use it to exfoliate your armpit and your neck. It will get rid of the darkness like really, really quick. So if you have tried any form of a turmeric mask on your skin, go ahead, comment, comment and let us know. We're going to take some comments and then we are going to move on to the next um, ingredient. All right, so let's take some comments. Um, okay, it's very effective. This mask, try it for one week. All right, so um, Lurbeck, it is all right to dab a little off the onion juice and dark area where my arms oh yes 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 i've learned that word for a while um i got bruised and i think i may have scrubbed it too long no 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 go easy with the scrubbing if you have bruise as a matter of fact if you have any form of a bruise or you know blemishes it's very very important for you to either not scrub at all or use very, very mild scrub, but try the turmeric juice on that area. And you know I wouldn't tell you to try it if I don't think it works. Try it on it by dabbing it. Make a paste though. You want it to be paste, like, you know, not a lot of liquid, so that it's not runny, and just dab it there. And do that, let it dry, brush it off, and sleep with it. And I know in the next day you're still gonna wear your glasses, so do that at night, okay? All right, so we are moving on. WM, there is a video you have about using vinegar for skin tag. I would like to know how long do you use that recipe before seeing result. Everyone's skin is different, okay? So I could use it for a week and I see result. You could use it for two weeks. The trick about that is to just keep putting it on. And however, if you're using it for a whole month and you don't see any form of a difference, then definitely stop it and move on. To the next remedy all right 
Margaret, turmeric brown my skin. Did not realize that my skin was sensitive to that point. And what did you add to the turmeric? For those of you with sensitive skin, and yes, it can burn the skin because here is the reason also. When you're buying turmeric, and that is why some people don't really give in to buying turmeric powder because some is mixed with other ingredients and that is the truth okay so you gotta find a brand that said and i don't want to get into the brand with the turmeric powder but it is the truth most turmeric powder that you're gonna buy at the store might be mixed with something else all right so 100 percent pure turmeric powder are you know um at least 99.9% .9 pure turmeric powder. If the turmeric powder burn your skin and you can get your hands on fresh turmeric, that is what you try. Milk is gonna have to cut down on the if the, the, the effectiveness of the turmeric in terms of if it, it's kind of ease that burn, weaken it somehow, so you could try it with the milk. Another thing that you could try the turmeric powder with to cut down and that you know, sensation is Vaseline or um, shea butter. Just, you know, melt the Vaseline, put the turmeric powder in it, blend it up, and then it's gonna set. Or melt the shea butter, put the turmeric powder in it, and then it's gonna set. That will help. So not everyone can use the turmeric powder directly on the skin. So definitely mix it with something. But if you have regular skin, you're gonna get fast result by just, you know, making that piece and use it on the spots and blemishes. All right. Um, okay, so we are moving on and uh, um, let's see who else have a question and then we're gonna move on to the next. Um, our, I'm gonna mess your name up, but your question is, what can I use for deep scars on the face? And all these ingredients that we're sharing today is good for scars, spots and blemishes when you said deep are you meaning that in terms of pigmentation or are you meaning that is something like this that i have on my forehead here this is what you probably would consider deep let me know let me know because mine i'm not trying to get rid of it at all but if it's something like this you're talking about let me know i'm thinking that the only thing that apart from you know surgery that you can use to get it out if it's this deep is to do massages on it that will help so let me know okay all right so um um mira amu mira, mira amu i think that's your name sefu i gg i love your channel but sometimes you you your mix don't work and i'm really really glad for that comment because not everything that I make on this channel is gonna work for everyone, okay? So we have a wide variety of remedies on the channel which are not suitable for everyone. So when you're searching for a remedy, search for something that is suitable for you. Now I could use turmeric on my skin and it lighten my skin or clear my hyperpigmentation. You could use turmeric on your skin, it take a longer time or it might not work at all. And that is why I have so many different types and kinds and ingredients of remedies on this channel that if one thing don't work for you, Go ahead and try something else. As I said, we all are different. Our environment is different, and our skin tend to to operate and function different, depending on you know what you eat, your chemical compound, and all of that. So definitely, if something doesn't work, try something else. But the bottom line is, you definitely will stumble upon something that will work eventually works. Okay. All right. So we and thank you for that because. You know, you might think you were rude, but it's a valid um, statement. All right, so we are moving on. Chichi, do you know? Do you know how to whip um, sea butter? It's wonderful. Is it sea butter? Or are you saying shea butter? Maybe you're saying shea butter. I have a old remedy showing me whipping that butter. <laughs> it's yes, and I tend to do it for myself. So if you have not seen that video, you probably I don't even know if you loosely could find that. But it's whipped shea butter and I had other ingredients to it. Alright, so we are moving on. And Peggy, um Shing uh, Shing Honestly <laughs> this name I always mess it up. But anyway Peggy 
let me see shingle sh shingler 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 i think i messed it up will the remedies help with um melasma yes 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 any form of hyperpigmentation spots blemishes or uh, scars these ingredients are known to help to lighten fade or get rid of okay and break up the people actually and lucy do you have um gardening youtube channel they do have a lot of gardening youtube channel i cannot put my hands on one right now we don't have but there's others because i tend to watch a bit of a gardening youtube channel so there are you know gardening channels out there um amanda coconut oil or grapeseed oil now when it comes on to oil the best oil and you can do research for yourself the best oil for hyperpigmentation scars spots is coconut oil okay most um beauty products for get lightening brightening removing hyperpigmentation will also use coconut oil and that is because it's actually have to lock that moisture in the skin it does not dry out the area so it give whatever you mix with it to, you know cause it to work and stay longer on the skin so you can use the coconut oil or you can go ahead and you can use the grapeseed oil i use both for different purposes however i like to use a boat all right so we are going to take another question and then we're going to move on to our next ingredient now thank you for all your videos love you and love you're here today thank you for that and that's nor um um nor and then we are moving on to Mistress Liu, Mistress Lu, I think. Um, what can I use for very dark lines between my eyes and each side of my nose? And I think that is basically the same question that um, um, Lerbet was asking. Most people get that from the glasses. And I suggest that you try the turmeric. I'm going to also tell you that if you have the store-bought aloe vera gel, you can choose to mix that with a little bit of the turmeric powder and try to use it on that area. The aloe vera gel will also, you know, help it for the turmeric powder to just cut down on the sensitivity. Okay. All right. So we are moving on. Um, Sarah, mom, you are looking beautiful. Thank you for that. All right. So let's move on to our next ingredient that you can use to lighten and fade scars spots blemishes on the skin if you have a question go ahead and ask the question while we talk about the next ingredient all right so our next ingredient is papaya and if you're a regular watcher to my channel you know that I use a lot of papaya and because it really works on my skin and also it works on a lot of you skin according to the comment now papaya is great overall for the skin you can choose to use ripe papaya and even the green papaya the green papaya however works better when it comes on to molds and wart the ripe papaya works on the skin for fading hyperpigmentation the bonus to it is that it also helps to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. If you have fresh papaya, that is what is best to use for fading of the scars and spots. However, we do know now that we have the papaya oil. The honest truth is the papaya oil for fading scars is not as effective as using the flesh or the peel of the papaya. So if you have papaya, go ahead and use it, mix it with you know blend it out use it as a facial mask a quick trick and a quick quick tip guys you can actually peel a papaya because what happened with the papaya is that most of the vitamin c is closer to the peel to the skin as some people call it so you can actually peel it and you can actually take that and rub it on the area where you're trying to fade spots and blemishes you can actually store your papaya peel in a ziplock bag in your refrigerator and it could stay in there like 10 15 days it won't go bad really quick so you can actually do it at night just before you go to bed just take that papaya peel and rub it and if not also just make some papaya facial mask and you know facial scrub i use a papaya peel for facial scrub i like to use it on my skin i also have a video you know showing you how to use the papaya peel for your facial just exfoliating the skin 
works like a charm really a good food to use on the skin if you have tried anything with papaya feel free to comment okay so we are moving on if you're just joining we're talking about natural remedies natural ingredient that you can use to fade scars spots blemishes get rid of moles and warts on the skin we spoke about red onion on the top of the hour we also talk about turmeric turmeric powder or fresh turmeric we are now talking about a papaya and papaya for some people you might not have access but if you have access to the papaya you can use it on your skin now Jackie mom Gigi, you are the best thank you so much for that Francisca uh, Francisca please what can I use to remove acne from my face and I don't really make a lot of acne um, videos and that is because you know with the channel limit and all of that but I normally suggest that you use a little bit of a tea tree oil anything with tea tree oil because of the antibacterial properties you can use any of my remedies on your skin once you add a little bit of the tea tree oil to it that will help to you know get rid of the acne however I suggest that you use a mild exfoliator to begin with to exfoliate your skin on a regular some people do not recommend exfoliating your skin when you have acne prone skin especially if it is severe however you gotta find a way to get rid of the grease and dirt that is clogging your pores that is causing your skin to break out so steam your face with a get yourself a facial steamer if not you know just use an old-time technique by boiling the water and cover your face with a towel that is gonna help to open the pores once your pores are open then you're gonna take a light or a mild exfoliator a nice one to use that is skin friendly to most whether you have sensitive, sensitive skin yay or nay is blended rice blend the rice to a powder that is going to cause like the granules to be extremely fine and that is perfect for your acne prone skin add a little bit of that tea tree oil in that rice you can add a little bit of a milk to it too because you do have lactic acid which is good for your skin mix it after you steam the face and slowly exfoliate your skin pat dry the skin and apply your acne remedies that you use if you have no acne remedy that you use on the skin dilute that tea tree oil a little and just press it on the skin and go to sleep with it overnight try it for a week and come back next week and let us know your result i'm almost sure you're going to come with some positive result from doing that okay and take your fingers off your face do not touch 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 you know the drill because that is also contaminating the skin keep your skin clean I also suggest that now that most people is old and if you have acne prone skin wash your face at least three times per day the reason you have a lot of acne is because your skin produces a lot of excess sebum and when the skin produce all that sebum it's you know take all that dead skin cells and log in the pores and cause all this kind of a breakout so if you can wash your face at least three times a day and pat dry it and apply that diluted tea tree oil on your face and see what happened works really really well for most in sunshine bella oh please what can i use to remove mold tags because it's getting much all over my body and I'm worried for it okay so you know um, I was talking the other day and you were um, first time seeing you on the show welcome um, that I do find myself with a bit of a mold well more so wart and that's always happen with the aging process when you start to age you're gonna notice that these things are just gonna start popping up on your skin all over a good remedy is you know the banana peel I try that banana peel and I tell people about the banana peel with some um, apple cider vinegar that really works also the onion juice works for the wart but you got to do it all the time okay if you have to keep doing it it's natural it's not gonna like just let it fall off in two days you know my face if you watch a few of my videos like probably about 
you know, seven, eight months ago, you would have noticed that my face was like, you know, having all these little warts and stuff coming. Now it's all gone. And I didn't do anything special. I just used some onion juice and the banana peel and my natural remedies. And here it is, much cleaner and, you know, less wart on my skin. And that is the honest truth. That is what I do get um, some remedies from. I actually have one in the back. Someone sent me, and this week they contacted me to find out if I was trying it. But honestly, I was not using it at all. My stuff really, really works. But um, if you want, I don't know if it works. And that is the honest truth for the warts and stuff like that. I don't know if that worked, that product that was sent to me. But the remedies that I'm sharing with you is what I know. But if you want to try something else apart from natural remedies, um, send an email and I'll try to find that. And you probably could try it for me and do a few tapings so I could share, you know, those folks stuff that they like to send that I'm not using. Hello, Mexi, how are you? And I found my acne also clear up once I stop eating certain things. And that, you know, for years, people are always saying that depending on what you eat, you can have, you know, acne prone skin. Most of the time, acne come with puberty, to be honest. But for some people, certain things do cause you to break out. Not necessarily acne, but, you know, it causes a little pimples and stuff like that. So be mindful of that. All right. So we're moving on. Golden Child, I purchased um, Bakuchal oil for your last video. And I'd like to know how to use it. All right. So. For those of you, oh, mine is way too far. I can't find it. For those of you who are not aware um, what the Bachi oil is, it's a natural alternative to retinol. Retinol is a form of a vitamin A. Now, if you do your research, you will find that a lot of skincare products are turned into the Bachi oil. To use it, it is very, very strong. Okay? It's very, very strong. I have um, dilute mine with other oil. I mix it with the rosehip oil. I mix it with the squalene oil. However, if you want to use it on your skin and you don't want to buy another special oil, if you have coconut oil or olive oil, tip a little in it and mix it. But you can try it on your skin directly. It's too thick. It's not spreadable. All right? And I'm almost sure the one you have is not that spreadable. So chase it with something almond oil, coconut oil, or olive oil, or do like I do and mix it with another special oil, such as the rosehip oil or the squalene oil. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take just a two drops and you're gonna massage it on your face. Clean skin, right after you do your toner, massage it on your face and leave it on, preferably overnight because you don't have a pleasant fragrance to it, okay? And that is all you do. Now, give it a little time to work, okay? Give it a little time to use. Use it for at least two weeks and then come back and tell me what results you see from using it. I get amazing results from it. But like I said, I also mix it with other oils. Okay? Curry, um, Brian. Chichi, I have washed my face with oatmeal powder with a little fresh milk. I rub it and leave it for five minutes. And I can see my face left very refreshing and nice. That is like really, really good. Like really really good mixing oatmeal right oatmeal has been used on the skin forever and forever and forever and that is for a reason it works on the skin it helps to clean the skin and for those of you who have oily skin the oatmeal will work like a charm to cut down on that excessive um sebum that you have going on on your skin great recipe all right so um we are moving on. All right, so let me talk about the next one. Vitamin C, guys. Vitamin C right across the board. And I'm sure most of you know about vitamin C. Vitamin C is the one vitamin that is good for hyperpigmentation. It is good for spots and blemishes. It is good for lightening and brightening the skin. Now, when it comes down to moles and wart, we're leaving the vitamin C out of that for now. But when it comes down to your skin, Vitamin C have to lighten, brighten, fade, remove, you know, old scars, new scars. Now, you can choose to use 
natural vitamin C or you can choose to get the vitamin C powder. I am supposed to be making a video for you guys soon showing you how to use the vitamin C powder. Vitamin C is very, very delicate, however, guys, because when you use a vitamin C and you go out to the, in the sun, it could cause more damage than, you know, fixing your situation. I suggest you use vitamin C mostly at night. Now, how do you get natural vitamin C? One fruit that contains more vitamin C than orange is the kiwi. Not everyone has access to blending and mixing a kiwi facial mask. I'm trying to remember if I post that. I think I post a video, um, a, re, a, a reboot of a kiwi facial mask. Really, 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 really good. Really, really, really good. That's a natural vitamin C. Any citrus fruit like lemon, mostly lemon zest, contain more vitamin C than the juice. You can mix that with another ingredient and use it on your skin to get rid of hyperpigmentation. Grapefruit, guys, contains natural vitamin C that you can use to clear your skin also. And um, what other fruits they have? Um, citrus fruit. We have grapefruit, we have orange, we have lemon, and also lime is also good. And those are natural vitamin C. However, if you do not, you know, have natural vitamin C, you can get the vitamin C powder and I mix it with some um, distilled water and that is what you're going to use to, um, but I'm going to share the video with you to show you how you can make your natural vitamin C. If not, just use your vitamin C. Now, some of these ingredients that we just mentioned also contain natural vitamin C and that is why they work to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation such as that the papaya and the aloe vera contains a vitamin C. So you can make sure when you're trying to get rid of spots and blemishes, focus on vitamin C in your skincare products or focus on finding natural vitamin C. And I have a lot of videos on my channel using fresh fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamin C that you can try on your skin to clear your skin of hyperpigmentation. But definitely give that vitamin C um, a try for getting rid of spots and blemishes. All right, so we are moving on. And someone is asking about vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil helps to hydrate the skin mostly. The vitamin C is way stronger for hyperpigmentation than vitamin E. Vitamin E mostly like nourish the skin, keep the skin soft and supple and hydrated, while the vitamin C is going to go in and do the work of clearing up things, okay? And you can actually mix the two together to use on your skin for getting rid of spots and blemishes. All right, so we're moving on. We're gonna take a few more questions and then we are gonna continue. Um, Rich Diana, Rich Diana, um, Regent Chiji, all from Guyana. The, the, there's a fruit you call one finger or sorry. The juice remove rash and dark spot also. Um, one finger or sorry. If you're any Jamaican is on the channel watching and know of this fruit, we might actually call it a different name. Comment, 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 because I'm not familiar with that fruit. Happy Sunday, Alice Day. How are you doing? Um, Nervina, hello everyone. Happy Sunday. All right, guys. So if you're just joining, we're talking about natural remedies that you can use to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation and i am actually telling you the remedies the fruits or whatever it is and lucy is actually doing an amazing job in pulling out the videos that you know um go hand in hand with these fruits and vegetables and stuff that we are talking about prophet Teresa, hello welcome 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 to our the chat and now guys let's move on we're gonna talk about yogurt. And most of you are aware that yogurt is one um, ingredient that almost everyone uses on their skin. I grew up seeing people using yogurt. People are still using yogurt. And it doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor, you know, you use yogurt on the skin. And that is because of the lactic acid. If you don't have yogurt, you use milk. What that do is to really help to 
clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. However, when you use yogurt on the skin, guys, it's not only do that by clearing the skin, but it's also have to clean out those pores. So if you have acne prone skin, if you have um, um, large pores, yogurt is good for the skin. Spots, blemishes, large pores, you name it, this is the yogurt. Now, milk, you're gonna find the same lactic acid in it. Uh, low, yogurt, however, have live active culture, and that's probably one of the reasons why people tend to use more yogurt even than milk on their face. So if you have yogurt, a good blend to clear your skin from scars and spots and you know, I, well, whatever hyperpigmentation, they're all hyperpigmentation. Just so you know, guys, a lot of people tend to confuse and sometimes I myself do it when we come on and we said get rid of hyperpigmentation from the skin plus dark spot. No, they're all hyperpigmentation. Dark spot, pimples, blackhead, whatever, when we're talking about hyperpigmentation fall right on the dot. So we're basically saying, you know, clear hyperpigmentation, meaning get rid of dark spots and blemishes and scars and so on, okay? But most people tend to think it's something different, but no, fall right under that umbrella. Anyway, let's move on. What we were talking about was yogurt. So you can use yogurt, you can use milk, you can use um, curd, um, what else is from the dairy family? Um, sour cream, you can use any of those um, heavy cream to on your skin to have to clear it from hyperpigmentation. Mix it with the turmeric. That is one that most people like. If you mix that yogurt with some turmeric powder and use it on your skin three times a week as a facial mask, it's gonna lighten the skin and have to fade the scars and hyperpigmentation. Now let's talk a little bit about skin tags, okay? Skin tags, molds, and wart. Here are some of the main ingredients, that natural ingredients, that is gonna work. We talk about onion at the top of the hour. We also talk about turmeric, but we're gonna talk about banana peel. Banana peel, the inner part of the banana peel, mix that with some apple cider vinegar, can help, may help, to get rid of moles on wart. The same thing you use on the mole is the same thing you're gonna use on the wart. Apple cider vinegar um, mixed with onion juice is good for moles and warts on your skin amazing combination and you can mix either the apple cider vinegar and the onion or you can also mix the onion with the turmeric powder however if you mix the onion with the turmeric powder it's very 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 strong so you might need to add a little oil to that like a little bit of a coconut oil but these are the three main ingredients apple cider vinegar um turmeric powder and onion juice really really good for skin tags and i have several other videos with several other and banana peel i forget the banana peel several you know way of using these as remedies for skin tags and molds and you can go under the videos and look at some of those comments on the, some of those videos you're going to find that people have been you know getting really good results from using these on the skin so if you're just joining what did you miss you miss red onions turmeric powder aloe vera gel, papaya, vitamin C, and yogurt. Now we're gonna talk about another ingredient, guys. I mentioned seven, I know I'm probably over seven by now, tomato. I did a, a poll recently on community, and I was asking people lemon or tomato, which they prefer. Believe it or not, lemon actually won. I forget the percentage amount, but I think it's something like lemon was something like 80 some percent and tomato was really down there like 20 something percent. Okay, meaning that more people prefer to use lemon on their skin than tomato. However, tomato is really good for getting rid of pigmentation. Believe it or not, tomato mixed with yogurt, guys, really good. Or you can choose to rub the tomato directly on the skin. For some people, it might be a little too harsh if you have sensitive skin. So mix it with, you know, a little oil or something like that. But just the way you use lemon for clean skin and vitamin C, you can also use the tomato. I do not understand why most people don't like to use a tomato. I personally like to use a tomato. I find it to, you know, 
kind of leave my face a little silky, especially when I mix it with stuff like yogurt. It's really good, or milk. So tomato, you can research it for yourself, but it also contains vitamin C. It has an uh, enzyme lipopene, and this is what works on the skin to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. Now, I did not have potato on my list today because we talk about it so much and you know you could go anywhere on youtube and you could see people using the potato for dark spots and blemishes it works guys it really works cold potato cut a little slice of it someone asked a question in my um question um box today and the person i put irish potato and someone was saying they don't know what Irish potato is, never ever seen it in the supermarket. However, they have Idaho potato, and I forget the other, Yukon potato, and some other potato that the person lists that they could find, but they couldn't find the Irish potato. So, it sounds, you know, a little like, what? But no, guys, you gotta be mindful. Not everyone is exposed to certain other culture and stuff like that okay and i didn't laugh at it because i understand exactly um because i might someone remind me recently that like in you in england it's known as white potato in america most times you go to the supermarket you're gonna see either old potato and i know that the person probably is an american because they don't use Irish. Some people might because we have so many people that, you know, migrate here and might use the word Irish. But let's say like in Jamaica and some places in Europe and still other countries, we use Irish. But they're all the same. Okay? It's potato. They do have a different variety of potatoes. But when we talk, when we, you know, say Irish, we're talking about potato on the old, which is the same kind of type that they call white potato or either or potato but whatever it is potato 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 whatever it is white whether it is idaho idaho is all about you know where it is you know grown and that's um idaho in america was you know the place that i think um grow the most potato that most people like i came to america i'm jamaican i came here and i kind of get on the idaho potato bandwagon also because the dry and nice and big and yes and all of that kind of stuff guys but it's the same irish potato all right so i hope i get that clear but if you can use a potato on your skin it helps but put it in the fridge though because when you put it in the fridge it activates and the enzyme catecholase and that catecholase works best when it is activated when it is cold to get rid of spots and blemishes on the skin. So there you have it guys, seven natural remedies for hyperpigmentation, scars, moles, what? I think I wrote a recipe for you guys and um, so now I don't know where I, okay, where, okay. Uh, I probably misplaced that note, but anyway, I'm gonna try to write it below the video because I'm not seeing it in my view. I work alone guys, so sometimes, you know when I'm overwhelmed I kind of misplaced thing like I'm doing right now because I, I wrote this amazing recipe for you guys but I can't find it right now anyway I'll put it under the video because it's very short when I'm done I'm gonna take some questions and then we're gonna wrap up the show if you're just joining we were talking about ingredients that you can use that are effective that have been tried tested proven to get rid of scars blemishes warts and mold on the skin what you miss is turmeric powder you miss red onions aloe vera gel yogurt tomato vitamin c and papaya now i was gonna actually mention two other ingredient that is good for hyperpigmentation that is not natural and that is for some people is hydroquin no more than two percent no more than two percent of hydroquin because whenever you buy a cream guys any form of a cream that you buy out there it doesn't matter what you pay for it and once it mentioned to lighten brighten clear the skin of hyperpigmentation and stuff like that you're gonna find that it do contain hydroquin and you can just turn your 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 product bottle over and look and see um the ingredient 
panel okay and that is what is recommended well here in America that is the standard and um, you don't go over 2% hydroquin for you know healthy use on the skin and that is not natural guys but you know I decided that I would share that with you all right so Chrissy your face is glowing you know honestly guys I use the okra on my face lover you're on the chat today Lerbet, sorry you're on the chat today and you were the one who suggested the okra I honestly guys I can tell you guys straight up I love using the okra on my skin I love you it's like a new found thing for me now I love and that video I posted another video sometime yesterday I think I posted the video guys it's not a joke <laughs> it's not it's not an edited video to make it look like oh it's working and it's not no it is good it is good it is it's just how my skin <sighs> 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 It's like a little gem in somewhere, to be honest. I personally love using that okra. I watch the video, guys. Watch the video. And if you're skeptical, guys, and I said that in the video, if you're skeptical about some of these remedies and some of these ingredients that we use on the skin topically, try the okra if you have access to okra. Just give it a try. Every time I use it, it's like I can't believe like it's unbelievable and okra is good for a lot of other things guys but if you have not yet tried that okra give it a try try one of the rest I have two recipes I actually actually have another recipe where I use the okra seeds the honest truth I prefer the okra itself just blend it up with that rose water and nice nice so maybe that's why my skin is glowing today because it really did a number on my skin. Love it, love it, love it. If you have okra, guys, try it. Just try it. If you're skeptical, just try it, okay? All right, so we're going to take some questions. Hello, Taryn. I just bought okra. I need to try it. You should. Please, try it. Just follow the recipe. Try it. I saw Keisha earlier on the show. Hi, Keisha. How are you doing? Hope you're still here. Um... Nagri, I think I'm gonna drop the N or Nagri. Oliver, my face is dry, what can I use? Okay, if you have dry skin, you need to use something that is gonna hydrate the skin. Aloe vera help to hydrate the skin. The same yogurt we talk about help to hydrate the skin. The trick, however, to dry skin is when you get out of the shower, do not totally dry your skin. Leave a little bit, leave it damp and apply your your, your cream, your lotion, or whatever you use on the skin. I have a lot of dry skin remedy on my channel that you can try. A quick tip is when you have your regular body lotion, pour some oil, whether coconut oil or olive oil or almond oil or grapeseed oil in your body lotion, shake it up for more moisturizer, you know, to your skin. Uh, Baby Robert, oh, 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 do you use the okra the video is there and Lucy just post the link so look at Lucy comment and there's a link if you click on that you're gonna get the video showing you how to use the okra on your skin so um, WM I will be experimenting with the okra oh you're still here Keisha I really just want you guys to try and come back next week and talk about it just go out try it if you have it try it and come back and let's talk about it I already tell you guys exactly how I feel about it um, Vicky, um, please can you answer the question that I asked you a while ago about the cure of scalp um, psoriasis and can I rinse it out if I did my ear will look greasy and dirty? No, you got to rinse it out. Are you referring to one of the remedies that I post? If you, if you are, yes, you have to rinse it out. Okay. However, a quick suggestion is that you just leave it, walk around with it, you know, for a couple of hours and then you rinse it out. Okay. All right. I'm hoping that you're talking about, if not, ask the question over so that I could see what you are saying. Hello, Jill. How are you? Uh, Paulette Langley. I will try it. We have a lot here in Jamaica and definitely. Hi, Sharon. I haven't seen you for a week or two, I think. Very late. Better busy with work. Okay. See? 
I know when you guys are not on, and we have not seen an um, Narissa watching from BVL. Uh, is that like Bul Bulgaria or is that Boulevard? <laughs> uh, let me know. Let me know. I don't want to mess this up. I'm thinking it could be Bulgaria, but I might be wrong. No, we have not seen. Um, we have not seen one of our faithful subscriber on the channel uh, for a while and i'm not seeing her she's really out of it so anyway i'll you know talk about that a little later call her faster how are you we're taking questions if you're just joining what you missed we were talking about skincare remedies that can help to clear hyperpigmentation dark spots and blemishes on the skin and we um hi juliana now guys if you're watching regular on the chat you know i normally be looking for who is here who is not here comment so i can know that you are here and if you like the chat today just give it a thumbs up to show your support to support the channel guys you know just thumbs up the video give it a like that is how the system you know the tech that you guys like it and then they share it with others to see okay all right so um um, should you talk about salt water? Does it remove black spots and pimples? And the honest truth is, someone was asking me to make a video with the salt water, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I have not tried it for myself. So I really, even though some people have great results with it, I have not yet tried. So I like to kind of at least try something a little that I could like, you know, talk about it. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. So I am going to do some more looking into it. And then I'll come back and let you know if I think it's a go yes or no. I'm watching from Guyana, my first time live. And this is Siobhan Linda, Lindai or Linde. Welcome, Pauline Juliana. Over to remove dark spot on the face. Yes, it does. It definitely lightens the skin. It's no joke. It definitely leaves the skin looking clear and just rosy looking and just like glass like. That's the result that I get from it. Um, Joquita, what is good for dry, crack, um, painful eczema on the elbows? Sulfur or onion juice? Because it do contains the sulfur also. And we have some videos, some really good ones for eczema. Just find the link. Go on my channel page. Click on my face in the circle below. That is going to take you to the channel page. Or just go on and Google and just Google Chichi Beauty Eczema and the video will come up. Okay, so... um. I exfoliate my face twice a week and my skin is dry and sensitive. It's very, very dark. And the reason why you got black is because, you know, you put the, what you put at the end of it. Um, if, you, if your face is very, skin is very dry, do not exfoliate twice per week. Exfoliate once a week if you get an irritation because you have sensitive skin. Let me take that back. You can exfoliate twice per week depending on what you're using to exfoliate your skin. You need something very, very mild to exfoliate to get because you have sensitive skin. If you have normal skin, you have dry skin, you gotta exfoliate to get rid of exfoliate to get rid of the dead skin cell. But because you have sensitive skin, try the rice. Try the rice. Blend the rice to a powder or whatever. And that is what you're this is very, very mild. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna use something a heavier oil like coconut oil, olive oil, you can use sesame seed oil, you can use the best one, which I know is a little pricey for some people, but the avocado oil, the avocado oil is really, really good. Leave the skin damp and put it on it. But for this week, try the rice, it, or cut down on the amount of time you exfoliate, exfoliate only once per week, because you do have sensitive skin, okay? All right, Vicky, thank you so much for answering my question, because I didn't see so the video and i've been waiting to try it thank you for that all right guys you know my time is up guys so i'm still looking for questions if you have a question guy go ahead and ask it right now so i could answer it before we go so oh peggy is trying to pronounce it's s-h-i-n-d schindler okay i'm not gonna mess it up anymore schindler with an heavy on the s-h-i-n-d all right thank you the c oh the c is silent that's what it is all right thank you for you know correcting that 
However, the honest truth, I always have a problem pronouncing that. And now I know why, because the C is silent. Okay, Ru oh, Rudy, I haven't seen you for a while. Ruby, um, could you please do a video on making infused kiwi oil as well as other infused oil? Please, we definitely can do some of that on the channel, okay? We definitely can do some infusing. Next year, come in, we'll try to add some of those kind of video. All right, just me. You look great. Thank you for that. And um, all right, guys. So my time, golden child. I haven't seen you for a while. What about sea moss on the skin? Well, if you were here a couple of weeks ago, you'd hear the whole story about the sea mask. The sea mask is good to use on the skin. The honest truth is, it works on my skin. I don't like the way it smells. Okay, I have about two videos using the sea mask. Really works well, but for me. <laughs> But if you, you know, don't really mind that pleasant fish fragrance, then you could try it. Watch the video and try that recipe and come back next week and tell us, you know, what you think uh, about it. Um, um, Blurbet, so happy that the okra works for you. I need to use some now and I use one of your recipe. Definitely give it a try. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Now, Blurbet Thompson, watching from Jamaica. Hi to all my amazing Jamaican you know friends and family and subscribers out there how are you all doing i know you guys went through a rough period with all the water but you know things is getting back better now all right guys so my time is up let's you know do some advertising right now we're gonna be doing vlogmas guys it's not gonna be on this channel it's gonna be on my vlog channel for some of you who don't know what vlogmas is Vlogmas is when YouTubers post a video on their channel every day from December 1 to December 25 or to the end of December, you know, mostly talking about the festive season and, you know, what they do and, you know, stuff like that. The videos don't necessarily have to be about Christmas, but the holidays. So regardless of what holiday you celebrate, you know, then we're going to be talking about it. So. I could do Vlogmas if I didn't celebrate or Christmas. It's just about the festive season. So that's how I will have to do it on my channel because my channel consists of, you know, people from across the world. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. Some people celebrate Annika. Some people don't celebrate anything at all. And, uh, and you know, you know what I'm talking about, guys. So we're going to be doing, what the name of it is Vlogmas. We have to say Vlogmas and for 21 days so it's gonna be on the black channel if you have not yet subscribed to the black channel the link is always below the video here so click on it and go over there and subscribe we're also going to be posting a link to the vlogmas videos on the community tab beginning the first of december so look out for that we also guys is at the time where we're going to be pulling names for our annual christmas gift giving i'm saying christmas i celebrate christmas holiday gift giving which is normally on the end of the year now the way this works is we have special people that we really give gifts to that is here we watch our all everything we post they watch it we really just pull those names out and we give them gifts but we also take names from the sunday show when you comment Okay, we take names from the Sunday show when you comment. So for this week, starting this week, the names of people that comment, we're going to be writing them down. And those are the names that we're going to throw in a bag and we're going to shake it up and find a few names, you know, and give a little token just to show how grateful we are for, you know, your continuous support. So that is one reason why when you watch, the Sunday show for the next two three weeks make sure you comment say something even how you doing I am here because that's the only way you're gonna get to be in the drawing okay so that's my time guys thank you so much Lucy I'm gonna be reaching out to you Lucy very soon because we have some you know things we need to talk about and thank you all for you know supporting and being here I know it's not the end of the year yet but it's coming down when you know you know people are really getting into the holiday season and we really need to start being grateful and you know showing out the thank you from now because if you watch 
all year and support you know we'd like you to know that we appreciate it i love you guys and i'll see you next week sunday for another in our series sunday to chat with Chitty beauty go and watch the video that i post um earlier go and watch the video that was posted yesterday support the channel by watching the videos and watch to the end of the videos that's the way you support us guys okay thank you all and i'll see you in my next video bye bye have a great week everyone